Hi, Noah. Hi, Brooklyn and Jim, good morning. Happy weekend. It is Friday. We made it to the weekend, and you know what I'm going to binge? Home Before Dark. That's right, you guys. <laughs> good man. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are coming to us from Vancouver, Canada. I've always wanted to go. I've never been. But if I were to come, what would I have to see and do, you guys? Well, you have, like, the suspension bridge. You have like Niagara Falls, not just in like Vancouver, like everywhere is awesome. But you know, in here in Vancouver, we have like huge hiking trails. We have, you know, Science World. We have, oh man, I can't, I, I can't name it all. We have just a huge city. We have, you know, malls. Oh, we have like a really good mall. Brooklyn, oh. I'm writing it all it's down right now, you know, so. <laughs> I just love shopping, so Ooh. that's why I like the mall. Love it. Okay, guys, well, let's go ahead and get started. So a nine-year-old reporter unearths a dark, buried secret in the new dramatic mystery series Home Before Dark on Apple TV+. Plus. So Brooklyn, how, how, you know, how was it like to play this young journalist on screen? It's, it's, you know, you have different places of it which is awesome you know you have the journalism side of Hildy and like the mystery kind of Hildy which I like because like she's uncovering the mystery and then you have you know the more emotional places of Hildy and then you have um, the broad gray version of Hildy which is you know where she goes in there and you know you, she like stands up to people and she reads those comments and you know, yeah. she's just super strong and she's super smart. Um, and, you know, she's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. She's very cool. And, Jim, you know, how would you describe this series and what really attracted you to want to be part of this interesting storyline, my friend? Yeah, I think for me it was just, you know, when I read it, I just saw this amazing dynamic between a sort of father and daughter that I had not seen or been a part of before. You know, I'd done things where I'd had a family in a show or a daughter or, you know, but it was always very much in the background of the of the storyline. And for this, it was very much the forefront of the of the piece and, and particularly the relationship with the, with the father and the daughter. And it was just so beautifully written and so nuanced and so complicated mm -hmm. and so joyful. And, you know, the show itself was just such a fun ride to kind of be on. I was really interested that it was, you know, seen through the eyes of these amazing kids, but sort of dared to go to some very real and very emotional places as well. So that all, all those things kind of together. And then when I found out that Brooklyn was playing uh, the Hildy character, who I'd seen in the Florida Project and was, was a huge fan of her work. Yeah, it, it was just one of those things that, and when I found out John Chu was going to be directing the first couple of episodes, and, you know, he's a director that's so much kind of on the rise right now that he would choose a project like this to put his time and energy into. Felt like uh, it, it was gonna be an exciting thing to be a part of, definitely. Well, you guys, this is definitely a show to put on your watch list. Lastly, what is one thing you both learned from being on set together? Brooklyn, I'll let you start off, and then Jim, you can weigh in and share your answer. Okay. Well, the one thing I learned was, um, you know, I've learned to have, like, that journalism have, like, Journalists, journalists have like a really uh -huh. hard job. Like, you know, they have to find clues. They have to, you know, like stay up all night writing this story. Right. Have to, you know, piece it together. They have to find out what's right and what's wrong. They have to, you know, have their opinion and also the facts and try to work that in with each other. And if it doesn't work in, then you have to go out and, you know, figure this whole thing out. It's like, Journalism works really hard, and right. I'm like, wow. For me, I think I learned so much from working with with the kids. You know, it, it was that was a whole new experience for me, and to sort of see these guys work, and to sort of be a part of that, and to really kind of dive into these scenes together, 
and try and make them feel as real as possible for each other, so, you know, so that the kids were able to react and really kind of believe in the world that we were kind of creating, you know, taught me a huge amount. I think as an adult, as an, an actor as well, you, you can get very weighed down with your own nonsense, you know, and kids are amazing at just kind of finishing the yeah. scene and going through the emotional journey of the scene. And when the scene is done, they move on, you know, and, and, uh, and they, they don't sort of dwell on the past. They're very much living in the present. And that, that's something that um, I think all adults can learn from. Absolutely. Well, Brooklyn and Jim, this has been such a pleasure to get to speak with you guys this morning. Home Before Dark It is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you guys for joining me and coming all the way from Canada to speak with me here, you know, in little old Georgia. So, yeah. Of course, man. Take Georgia. care. Yeah, here in Georgia, in the peachy state, you know, c come on down for the food and the sweet tea, guys. You'll love it. <laughs> oh, we will. We will. Once we're allowed out of here, we'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll call you guys. <laughs> Okay, have a great weekend, guys. You too, man. Bye. Bye-bye.